we've just uh, added all our keyboard ke uh, keys, uh, keyboard shortcut keys. We've all uh, installed them, and um, I've made another menu. So the menu keeps changing. I have here the skill Nemo, in which case the Nemo desktop is gone, and I can reuse my right mouse click. This is also no new, I think, uh, since the last tutorial. Anyway, so this will keep changing. But um, the thing is, we have now this new menu, which is called Keyboard Shortcuts, which is pointing to OB key. And we've just installed or copy pasted all of the keys that I've made previously. And let's go over some of them. So I can't do all of them, but um, for instance, let's go for a Control Alt T, which is going to be a GNOME terminal, which in the meantime, I installed the Packer uh, GNOME terminal transparency, I think it's called. So this is transparent from now on. So that's that. Um, we can have Control Alt F, which is Firefox, if it works. There you go. And Control Alt G for GIMP. And all these things are in here somewhere. Control Alt I. Maybe you see also that my the way you show elements, the way they go away, the way you close elements, that's fading. And the fading has been altered as well. So I have copy pasted a content comp file on erudubuddle.be. I've made last two, three weeks many tutorials about Compton in Mate, in Arch, in, um, in, in many distros. So it's actually a configuration file which can apply on all distros. I downloaded the one from Arch i3, I think, and I copy pasted that over the Compton conf that we got from Antergos. And that's why you see things becoming transparent when something is focused, the other thing is transparent so you can see through it. And when this is focused, this becomes transparent and the fading in, fading out and all that. The menus will change. Things will be here as well, transparent. So that's Compton, but then a specific uh, configuration file of Compton. If in case you were wondering what's going on here, all the shadows and all that. So, um, okay, Control Alt I, I don't think we have done that one. That's Inkscape. When I press Windows, oh no, sorry, super i should say super key and then return i get my terminal as well does control alt w work that's sublime text does control alt b work that's nemo that's because of the icons we know that here um what else super key enter works as well. What's also quite interesting, if we have something open, I had um, in the during the tutorials I missed my shortcuts because we can't put these things at sight and then make it one fourth or of half or anything like that. So that's not possible. But it is, it is possible to change from desktop as you see. I have two desktops open now, one and two, back and one. So what I can do with a focused window is pressing the Windows key and then for instance 8 and 7 and 9, 6 and 3, 2 and 1 and 4 and always my, my, my finger is always on the super key and 5 is completely maximized. So follow your numeric keyboard that's quite easy if you have an, a separate numeric keyboard and then you know a keypad then you know why i am telling the numbers seven is up there so north west and eight is in the north nine is northeast and so on so you can move around and just make um, the window split in two or in, in four and a quarter and so on so that's something was missing. Control all G is, is GIMP. We can go over them here as well. So you see that what's happening here. So you execute something, you can do a lot of stuff. 
but in this case I just want to execute the program. Reconfigure is maybe a good one. Shift super R, Shift super R. So th then it does a reload of the system. And then so these two are the same. Super F11, F11 I mean. Super D, Super D is interesting for me. This is my D menu. So when the menu for some reason uh, breaks down and you, you screwed up your menu and it's not coming up again, the plank is gone, no way to be able to, to start a program. Yes, with D menu you just start anything you want, just type it and then you can start. So D menu with long code inside, it's coming from uh, i3wm, a tiling manager. Alt T, that's the most interesting ones. Are the ones I use uh, the most, meaning when I see a wallpaper I like, I do variety minus F. F stands for for, for favorite. So old F, it's now saved in my Dropbox and it's going to be linked online and all that. And same applies for previously the P for previous old P is going to change the the wallpaper, but I guess it's busy at this point here. I see something happening because of course um, did I make a Dropbox key I didn't make a Dropbox folder I mean there's no Dropbox folder so he wants to write to something that's maybe not there well he saved something all right let's take a look yeah he did save it so it's in my favorites folder so that's okay so it's a question of waiting alt uh, arrow to the right, alt arrow to the left should change our variety wallpapers if I've done it right it does make, it does seem to be I have difficulty with the program so I'll figure that out and save it again this is something I shouldn't do, enabled enabled yeah it was uh, part of a learning process it's not necessary so all these things are not enabled save it again we have a completely new configuration file now and let's try again alt arrow to the right the left previous next next works that's the n alt n alt p previous works now as well and alt arrow to the right works and alt to the left works so it seems to work it was just this little tick we had to get rid of previous window alt super tap and the key is invalid so i guess it's something happened here invalid invalid ah yeah there were the special keys alt tap so we can change and I'll super tap but we should have some windows open Eric what will we see otherwise nothing so this is a way to navigate this is a way to navigate so different ways to go through it but it's a work in progress that much you have guessed alt space is this show menu alt escape alt escape is going to put everything to a lower level back here lower and um, but these things are not mine actually so these things were already available in the system and any point in time that I say I miss my shortcut then I'm just gonna make it like here shift super E I've just made this one I guess no didn't make it one super W E no don't know what this was again shift shift super E sorry shift super E is I ah, the exit button but in the meantime I'm not gonna use that anymore I think I'm probably going to use uh, another key 
don't use this one exit open box which gives me a nice logout i'm going to use this more than this shortcut and then super f2 is sublime 3 again f2 super f2 we start this super f1 we start firefox super f3 it's a uh, inkscape super f4 is gimp so the things i the shortcuts i use on i3 are also programmed in here so windows f5 is melt and so on and so on so do check it out otherwise the tutorial will be too long so all the shortcuts are in here and can make some more that's my point of the tutorial